hello hi guys my name is sarvansh and thank you for watching my the other videos about the indian tutorial so today's video we are going to talk about the autopilot issues in intune so how we can troubleshoot our autopilot issues in intune so in this uh, slides i have covered a few issues how how you can see the error and uh, or what would be the cause for that error and how you can resolve it so let me start this video from here now so here is like troubleshooting process how how we are going to troubleshoot the autopilot issues so we need to precautions for few of the things uh, when we are doing the autopilot so first of all first thing is machine should have the internet connection to perform the autopilot the connection can be wired or the wireless when you are doing the autopilot you should have the internet connection on your device it can be the uh, the wire or the wireless or the wi-fi so autopilot profile should download uh, when used a wire connection or the manually step list a wireless connection so your the autopilot profile it it should can download uh, the on the profile and then only you can do that so you should have the stepless connection uh, either it, it a wireless or the wired so user authentication pop-up occur when you are performing a user driving deployment and user have to enter the username and password so Azure Active Directory join occurs for the user driver deployment the device will be joined to the Azure AD uh, using the specific user credential for self deployment scenario the device will join without specifying the user and credential so we need to make it understand like uh, the, the Azure AD join occurs for the user driving deployment when a user driving deployment is happening then it will pop up for the username and password but when the self deployment scenario user uh, should not enter the username password it won't be popped up automatic MDM enrollment occur as a part of the Azure AD join the process the device will enroll the MDM services configured in the Azure AD for example like Microsoft Intune so setting are applied uh, if the enrollment status page is configured so most settings will applied while the enrollment status space is displayed on the user screen so now let's see the common error in the autopilot so here you can see in the uh, one of the uh, famous error the user are getting when you are doing the, um, the device enrollment by the intune or uh, sorry the when you are doing the autopilot so you can see in this error error code is 0 x eight zero one eight double zero one four. So you can see this type of a screen and the error. So let's see how you can resolve it. The cause and the solution. Why this error occurred? The cause, the error can be occurred when you change the Windows Autopilot cell deployment mode. So if you change the deployment mode, so might you get this error. The solution, delete the device recording in June and uh, like the cause two. Uh, cause two, windows mdm enrollment is displayed in your intune tenant so how you can resolve this in the microsoft intune admin center go to the device and uh, enrollment uh, restrictions and then choose in the device type restrictions and then choose the property add it to the platform and then you can allow the windows mdm and select review in the same uh, and the same so uh, after performing these steps your issue will resolve now the one more error is cannot convert the device has error uh, failed to upload the csv so if you are getting this error like the a400 error appear in the network trash uh, with the error body like cannot convert the the literal device has to the expected type EDM dot binary. So if you are getting this error, so the cause will be this error. The error point to the device has been incorrectly formatted. When your uh, device has value are formatted incorrectly, then you will be getting this error. So anything that corrupt 
the collected hash can cause this error or one possibility is that hash value itself even it's not in the value so fail to the decode it so what is the solution to fix this issue we will need to modify the hash and then test the value until the power cell succeed the decoding the hash the result is mostly uh, lisible which is fine so we just looking forward into note through the error invalid length is base 64 character array or the string so basically what you need to do if you are getting this error so you can regenerate the hash value and import it into intune so let's see the uh, troubleshooting autopilot oob issue so sometimes we are getting this error cannot connect to the mdm terms of the error so something went wrong uh, it cannot connect to the url in the or in your the organization mdm terms so or try again to contact your the system administrator so sometimes we are getting this error so what is the solution for this so this often due to the licensing issue check that uh, who signing into the device it should have the valid intune ems or the of the microsoft 365 license so that error indicate you don't have the proper license on that account uh let's see the error hr uh, x0 this error so enrollment fail with the error the machine is already enrolled the device log shows this error 64c when you are getting this error uh so you can what is the cause so this cause may occur the one of these reason so what could be the reason the computer was the previously enrolled so you can face this error if your computer was previously enrolled into intune or the computer has cloned image of the computer was already enrolled so might be that image was the cloned or the the device was already enrolled into intune the account certificate is the previously account is still present on that computer so might be the certificate account certificate is available with the previous account in that computer so that would be the cause for this error or what would be the solution so you need to go from the start menu go to the mnc and uh, then go to the add remove snap, snap in then add the certificate to your local computer and uh, then double click on that certificate in the personal then look up for this uh, certificate issue by this sc underscore online issuing and delete if it is present and if the registry following exists then delete it so we need to delete this registry value and then try to enroll it so if the pc is still uh, still can't enroll then delete this below registry key and try it to re-enroll your device now let's see this error is 801800a device is already enrolled so what could be the cause so this error indicated something went wrong the device is already enrolled so you can contact your administrator for this error so the cause will be uh, the different user has already enrolled the device in intune or join the device into the azure ad so determine whether this case is setting under the account and the work access so the solution will be the sign of the windows then sign it by the other account and enroll the device and join this so go to the setting account and work and school and remove the account and sign out the window and then sign into by the account so enroll the device in intune or join the device to the assurity then your issue will resolve so next error is like looks like the mdm terms of use uh, endpoint not correctly configured so what would be the cause so it's like something went wrong looks like we cannot connect to the url of your organization mdm terms of use so try again and contact with your administrator with the problem information for this page so what could be the cause for this problem the mdm terms and condition in azure ad is blank or that doesn't contain the correct url so how you can fix this error so first thing is 
assign a valid certificate to the user and then correct the MDM URL as showing the below. So you can go to your the, on the, on the device enrollment status piece and then you can configure it. So if it is not matching with this URL, so you have the option as a restore default MDM URL and then you can save the setting that this will fix your the issue. So now your organization does not support this Windows version. So sometimes we got this error like there is a problem and your organization does not support this Windows. So what you need to do in the Windows enrollment is disabled in your Intune tenant. So you need to enable the device enrollment restrictions, edit it and save it. A setup failure occurred during the bulk enrollment. So sometimes we are facing this issue when we are doing the bulk enrollment. So a Azure AD user account is an account package like package underscore quid for this uh, respective provisioning package are not allowed to join the device into Azure. So what would be the solution? So you need to log in into the Azure portal as an administrator, then go to the device settings under the devices and then go to my joint device ad all selected and then if you selected uh, if you choose the selected then click selected and then click add the members or users and that can work that will fix your issue so now the next error is the enrollment status page timeout so if you are getting that error your the enrollment status page is timeout what you need to do so the cause is uh, the issue can arise if the following condition are match like you are using the ESP to uh, to track Microsoft store of the business app or you have the Azure ready conditionally access pro, uh, policy that uh, that uses the uh, required device to be market compliance control so the solution will be try to uh, of the following of the methods target your intune compliance policy to the device and make sure that compliance determined before the user login the offline licensing of the store app the way microsoft client does not have to check the microsoft store before the device compliance so guys thank you for watching this video i have just explained few of the uh, errors which, which you can get it so i can suggest you if you have the time so you can go with this url as the troubleshooting of uh, your the on windows autopilot that url i can paste it so you can get the more details uh, about this uh, autopilot issues so here i have uh, i have selected the few data and i pasted in my ppt where microsoft has published the solution so if you are facing any other issues so you can just text me on the youtube uh, i will try to answer your question so guys thank you for watching this video see you soon in my next video